Well hello there folks, gonna be making a guide on blood tree runs and why you should be doing them at least once a day or so because they're really good money and you can basically save a bunch of resources when you're actually using range or for any hardcore Iron Man that's doing this and this is gonna be a safe one so you won't be going to the wilderness unless you're really risking it. Well, time for the requirement that you'll be needing to actually do blood tree runs. You don't really need to do these, but you do have to if you don't want to go to the wilderness, such as um, 80 wood cutting and 90 fletchling is the base one to actually start cutting them and fletching them into bolts. So manor farm is basically, you know, there's a blood tree there. No man's requiem, there's a thing by the soul wars, I think, mini game. I don't remember what it's called. Um, Ritual Madra, basically around the glacial cave, around where you fought the uh, Madra, basically. Um, Branch of Dark Mire, basically um, where the the main area is, where the blood trees are, usually, and yeah, where you get your sun spear is. Plague's End and ninety three Dungeoning, basically in the garage area, and you'll be seeing it in the next clip where they are. So here's the map, the location for all the blood trees in the game so far in 2021. Unless they added more in the future, I'm just gonna pin down in the description. So yeah, basically there are five spots that's safe and three that is in the wilderness. If you wanna risk it, go ahead. But in my opinion, it's not really worth doing. So you're better off just doing the quest and just getting yourself a bunch of reputation from the manor farm. So here's the equipment that you're going to be needing to actually use to do the tree runs. Some of them you might not need, but some of them are really necessary if you want that maximum profit. For example, you need the Lumberge uh, Jack Aura. Hopefully it's a legendary because it does increase your yield on the blood trees. Hone and refine is needed basically. Hone and uh, make your thing faster and refine basically make your resource doesn't get depleted. So and on that if you have them level 20 it's even increased. So that's why you can see a marker there. That's why you want to have crystal hatchet and instead of if you can't have a crystal hatchet you can just use dragon hatchet either one of those two works. But in my opinion, just use Crystal Hatchet because you should. It's not that hard to get. And Chris, um, Grace of the Elf and Brooch of the Gods is not needed. And Lack of Dwarf. But I have them just in case I, you know, get myself a Hazelmer Signory. Fletchling Cape is really useful, especially if you have a bunch of blood trees, you know, logs, trying to fletch them and then increase them. Stop, uh, next stop is the um, bolts. You do need to have them in your inventory to actually start chopping them. And then after that, crystal um teleport seed basically will teleport you to, to the um to the garage area. Next one is um the Dracolium medallion basically will teleport you to the right next to it. Legendscape basically it's a closest fair ring. I always use it when I'm doing clue scroll. Next one is the wilderness um. Sword 1 basically will teleport me to Soul Wars. Now time to show you where to actually get the Bacurnable Bolt tip. Okay, time to show you how to actually get yourself a Bacurnable Bolt tip. Basically, you guys just go to Edge Bill Lodestone and right click to the one that's actually trying to, ch um, I think, chant in the Blood Trees. And you can buy some Bacurnable Bolt tip. So, yeah, some of them is, might be expensive and very expensive. If you die, well, you do lose about 20 mil, I mean 10 mil or so, so make sure you don't die. That's why you don't really want to do wilderness, so yeah, next up I'll be showing you guys the full run of blood trees. I might actually speed it up, who knows. Okay, time to show you a full run on a blood tree and the clip might be speed up here. So yeah, basically you want to turn on your love jar and then after you're done, you basically, you know, just click on it and then yeah, basically it takes a while, so I just speed up this clip. So yeah, I'm sure just showing you guys where to actually go and how to actually get there. Won't be going to the wilderness because there's no point and it's really risky and you don't want to lose your, you know, money on it. Unless you want to go ahead and go for it. But I prefer not to, so yeah. So next one is, um, you know, Dark Branch of Darkmire. You guys can see here. This one is usually the one that will kill anyone because some of them m people are not doing the fire watch. So be careful on that. Make sure you just help worlds. Just don't try to chop the trees down. And yeah, basically so worse. Nope, <laughs> accidentally double the clip there. 
we have fairly easy here go over here and there you got the blood trees so next up we're gonna go to the glacier caves now after we're slightly done here because yeah no need to shoot the whole thing but yeah, you guys can probably see it by the end how much stuff i got but almost it's about two mil ish so yeah, they're really good money and you can do them every six hours so yeah it's better to do them now than later so for any hard crime and that's well, the one that you should be doing so it's fairly easy and yeah you can see here pretty good so next up we're gonna be doing a bunch more um guide and yeah see you guys later and have a good day